Hey guys, today we will learn about Pharos. I will skip basic skills explanation. Please read it like carefully everything so you can actually understand what I'm saying. Uh, here's one knowledge about missing health about W skill. Uh, many people think against the full HP, the missing health skill doesn't work. But watch the damage. Q charging, 1A3, and then WQ charging it. 2 on 1. Okay, so it it actually has more damage even if full HP. Uh, it's just uh, giving uh, information. And here is a real tip about uh, basically E auto attack. If you auto attack, there's a W stack on enemy's body like that. So if you throw E, if you throw Q, if you throw R, E pop it. Right? So if you E and then as soon as you throw your E, you auto attack. Pop it. Why does it matter? Because when you auto attack three times here, maximizing your W stack damage, E auto, you pop four W stacks, right? So that is quite important. And here is a real tip about your uh, basic combos. So in your lay phase early game, you start with poking, uh, boom, and then you are. And you have a 3 stack, go forward, E, auto, now you're gonna have Q. So, if he got the poke, and enemy got poke plus R plus E plus auto attack, like that's gonna be half HP, right? You just keep auto attack, and again, same thing, a QW, execute damage. And also, here is infinite circulation your skill. Auto attack 3 times, keep don't forget about it. You want to use a skill 3 stacks body. 3 stack W, right? You can even start with the W, Q popping. And then auto 3 time. And E auto popped it. W, Q one more time. Again, 3 stack. 1, 2, 3. E auto. Wow, I have one more double. Infinite circulation. Mind blowing. Look at this DPS, E auto. Okay, don't forget about it. Never forget about this. Three W stacks equal using skill. So yeah, even if you're a poke virus, you can just do it, right? Q, just a Q poke and R engage. Oh, okay. I wait for three stack E pop. I have a Q in two seconds. Wow, and then because they are low. Now I'm gonna QW or WQ. What is QW? Oh, uh, did I mention? Uh, you can start with the W. I think I mentioned it. Pressing W and you can Q, right? But as soon as you pressing Q and W, you can also QW. But if you W later, after Q skill charging it, you cannot. That's it. Don't forget about W skill reduce thing. A lot of damage. After watching this example, missing ultimate, what did you realize? I realized I need to use normal cast when enemy is maximum range against my ultimate. So 
with the normal range showing the range, I might have a better accuracy, right? So calculate those speed and Varus is R Varus R is slow, don't forget it got nerfed it. Also, you should have better aim. I should have a better aim. My accuracy was bad. I I'm gonna work on it anyway. Uh, and there was a one information. Did you see it? Galio when he landed with the, his ultimate, because I used R fast, uh, he didn't get root, he didn't get CC. So don't forget about it. After you see Galio landed it, that's the time you want to use R. Do not predict that early. Versus Isriel and Zillia. We leashed it, they didn't leash it. So we watched the Zillian position. Zillian has bomb, Isriel has Q ready to dodge it. Pretend to go forward, your mouse cursor is already here. Backwards. Like, how do you know this timing? Because Zillian will be staying this spot. He's ready to press the Q button, the maximum range. This is gonna be maximum range for Zillian Q. Now you put yourself in to the Zillion Q range, pretending it and backwards. This is a how to take off the skill. Let, let them burn their skills. Now I have a Halo Blaze. Auto, auto, and feel the rhythm. Step by step. Auto, chuk, auto, chuk. Okay. Keep thinning the wave. Now Zillion uses the Q, so you have a. You can get passive, auto, auto, auto. Why did you use E there? Because I wanna match their level 2 power spike. The level 2 speed. I wanna use this area, hit the, these 2 melees. Maybe you, you could do hit range as well, but I wanted to make sure. Hit melees plus potentially easier. And it just pure lane phase, very boring like uh, if he hook yeah we're gonna auto 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 like uh, ease kill right if he doesn't hook we don't do it and also we should think about enemy jungler right our nidali is talking about dangerous ping around the grump enemy jungler is bottom side all right so even if we are gonna win we will not uh hook enemy because we don't want to trade that much. We want to just chill and farm. That's what we are doing. Chill. Farming. Farming, farming, farming. And watch the map. Be, be aware about it. Nidali, Nidali, Nidali. Okay. Where is he going? This is the biggest uh, uh, situation. He's going for bottom crab, which, ha which Kindred is a stack, right? And also, easier just to use W E. What that means, there is Nautilus a pressure. If he go forward, Israel needed to be careful. Why? Because Israel just used the E. The cooldown is like 27 seconds, okay? So we participate. This is skirmish, faster than enemy. Now I charge the WQ. Is it great? I don't really know. I'm not really sure. I don't think it was great. Why? Because your Q and E's kill only cooldown has uh, it, it is very long. So what you need to do is save the skills because Zillion will flush out the Nautilus Q and passive, right? Just to hold it. Make sure you wanna use your E when you have a W3 stacks. We remember that one, okay? Right now I just use the E for what? For slow. I could just flush out like that, right? So, I shouldn't use my E skill there. I should hold my E, auto, 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 E here. What if I did it? Then I'm gonna have a Q skill one more time there, right? So I would kill this Kindred faster. Even if I didn't have E skill, look at this. We actually won the fight. I mean, because Nautilus hooked Cassiopeia. That's why. I should play properly, I should play correctly. I should save that E skill for damage. For W pop it. Some sort of tank build. Wow. 
Wow. So how did we kill it? And what was great? Why did you use E? E for CS. It doesn't does it matter? It doesn't matter. Why? Because if you pop three stack W, you're gonna have the skill. How do you pop it? I'm I don't use any skill here yet. Look. Auto, keep ordering, keep ordering. Now I use it because he has it. Alistair have one, two, three stack. Pop it. And here is one mistake. What it is. So if you want a WQ and you know why did you R first? Because he is healthy right now. If I use uh, if I use WQ, then even if I root it, I'm not gonna have a skill for pop that Alistair W stacks, you know? So I'm gonna pop this W stack with my R first for one shotting. And then if I wanna maximizing this damage with WQ, what should I do? Wait for the W3 stack, right? I wanna wait it. And then you know what Samira has? Her Samira her, her W skill delete every projectiles, right? So how can she block? If she dash towards this minion or towards me. So where should I go? I should go this path. Is it correct? Right, it is correct. I should go this path to avoid that Samira W angle, but also hitting that Alistar W3 stack with my WQ. Is it correct? But rather than doing that, I was going forward. I didn't WQ with the 3 stack. I was uh, just popped it. And then here is one good thing. What, it, what is it? Auto three times here. Three stack and then E auto the four stack. So now I have Q skill one more time. Varus is a simple. Do not forget about three stacks W pop with the E or Q. One more skill. Mm -hmm. That's it. We learned about this situation. Start with the Q poke. What did we say? Three W stacks. Pop with E skill. You're gonna have Q. Easy clap. One more time. Watch it. Because because I used the Q in front of Samira's face. This is Samira think. Huh? Dude, who do you think you are, man? You just use the Q, you don't have a Q. I'm all in here. But I'm waiting for your W. And then 3 auto attack. E pop it. I have a Q one more time. GG easy clap. Right? Mm -hmm. Lulu is a strong. Chunking it. Alistar hex flash. Press R button. Auto 3 stack. W Q. Pop it. Here, one thing to know, why did you take the minion when you get out of this situation? Maximize passive. Here is a teleport, there might be a fight. If I wanna fight, I wanna do maximum damage. Maximum damage, more attack speed, attack speed from the minion. Kill the minion, get the passive. And then, why did you use E? There's nobody like uh, having stacks, double stacks. We're just uh, slowing that Lulu. Slow enemies for my Lulu, help it. And here is one good thing, the theory of your skill shot. You charging it, do not use it, do not use it, do not use it, do not use it. Use on the CC. Again, watch the Hecari. Wait, wait, fear, shoot it. Okay? When you play, I don't know, when you play easier Q or Varus Q, those, C, those damages, very important, right? So you wanna use skills on the CC. That's it. So, why, why, why? 
just to let you know, Varus R nerfed so hard. Uh, the speed of Varus R is very slow. So they can actually dodge like that. Kashope dodged it. But here is one thing. Uh, I wanted the blue, I steal it. And then, remember, 3 stack W, pop it. 3 stack, oro, 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 pop it. 1 death. Next, Kashopea. Oro, 1 stack. Pretending go backwards. Nope, I'm watching Kashopea ultimate animation. <sighs> Dodged it. Watch easy rear R angle. Gale force. Ba -ba -ba. How many stacks she has? Uh, it was a 2. I could just wait a little bit and then auto 3 stack, you know, W3 stack. One more auto there. But I did the Q and then flash auto. I didn't use E for killing Kashopea. Why? Because I wanna have my E skill against Israel, right? So make sure you flash kill auto attack. And then now, again. Oro, oro, e, oro. Now you have a skill. Like how many times we used our skill? Starting here, I used the WQ. They think I don't have a Q skill. Yeah, they are. I didn't have a sure. But I have a E for pop, three stack pop, and I have a Q one more time. Dutch casual pair, easy R, and Q pop. And I have a one more E now. So three stack pop. And I have a Q one more time. Wow. So if you do properly as a virus, 3 stack E, 3 stack Q, 3 stack E, just infinite circulation. Okay? Your virus team fight. Don't be panic. Your teammates are dying. Raze is dead. Nautilus is dead. It doesn't matter. Do your best. Let's defend the Baron. Right? Instead of you trying to 1v9 here, just defend the Baron with the Hekari or looking for steel. So what are you gonna do? Of course, I'm gonna throw my R, right? I will throw my R and charging my QW. Here, Poppy is squishy. He built, she built damage item. I will a rapid fire cannon, auto attack, E skill there. Make sure we kill it. And look at this. Make sure we hug the wall. Hug the wall so I am able to auto attack that poppy. Like that. And then, don't be panicked. Against this Silas, Gale Force repositioning auto three times. Look at that. Three stack W. Do you see it? Left up. And Q shortly. Easy clap. What was bad here? What was good? So, one thing good, you dodged it, everything. You dodged the Silas a second E skill. And then, I know he has a Varus ultimate, so I'm ready to press the gear force. Dodging it. Right? And here is one mistake. I did auto 3 stack and WQ, so it's tons of damage, but I used the E. Miscalculation about damage, so I didn't have my E skill when I actually got 3 stack on Poppy's body, I couldn't proc it. If I had it, I would E, and because you did the E with the W stacks, you'd have Q skill one more time. So we could kill Poppy this faster than this one. That's your mistake, right? And here is my WQ charging. I'm not shooting right away yet, yet. Now I shoot it. I shot it. Why? Because you need to understand the timing and the, the cannon perspective. Of course he could run away, but there's a one chance he wanna press R button to the Irelia and Hecari. So look at the angle and now, oh, Cannon is coming this way with Aphelios coming this way. It's just a straight, I can hit both of them, right? Keep charging it, now you hit it and make sure you auto E like that. Easy clap.
that was great in this team fight. Let's see. So, it's the same thing. Uh, enemy, top, chase top. So we engage mid, right? But when you see the engage, like this situation, it's very understandable. People wanna do damage first. But before doing go for going for the damage, you need to think about what is important skills for you against the enemy team. So enemy has a Samira W, sure she ha she has it. And what is the engage? What is counter engage? What is the threat? The threat is Seraphine. This is Seraphine, her ultimate angle. Which angle is gonna be like right now? The angle will be, you know. Because they got engaged now, they wanna counter engage to our four people. Like one, two, three, four, right? So I'm charging the Q skill, but I'm not going forward right now. I'm thinking about Seraphine R angle. Move it. Okay, watch it again. Before you go for the damage, because you use engage, think about the enemy's engage angle first, dodge that skill, and then doing a damage. Okay, it's very important because when you're charging Q skill like this, if you get CC, it get cancelled. You cancel, you don't even shoot it, it just cancel. So very important, dodge the CC when you're charging the Q or throw it before you take the CC, okay? Let's talk about Varus runes first. This is attack speed Varus rune. Start with the lethal tempo, presence of mind necessary. And it is kinda up to you, alacrity or bloodline, but I would recommend the bloodline. And also cut down, coup to grace, up to you, enemy's team, right? Depends on. And some people will ask, Revenant Hunter still worth it after nerf? I think it's still worth it in solo queue. If you don't think it, then you can take whatever. Sub rune is very Depends on situation, like depends on your preference. I like cookie and shoes, yeah, go for it. I like cookie and cosmic side, yeah, go for it. Cosmic side is good against uh, engaged support supporters. Also, you could go Halo Blaze when you play with the CC support and against uh, squishy supports. So you can just uh, one shot with the you know burst three auto attack and E three auto attack Q, those things. And because you went ahead of blade, maybe you wanna have a bloodline or like it's up to you. Another situation, right? It's just up to you. Mm. Let's talk about poke virus. If you're a poke virus, you can go comet, and you can have this rune like this. You start with the corrupting potion, or you can even you don't even start the corrupting potion, and then just uh, go with the Doran's blade started. It's really fine. Uh, it's your preference. Also, as a Pokevirus, it is still okay. You go Hate of Blaze or you go Lethal Tempo. Why do Why do you think it is okay? Because as a Pokevirus, they also hit Auto Attack, and also because they change the W mechanism. If you proc it, you get cooldown reduce, right? So those Auto Attack actually valuable as even as Pokevirus. So don't forget about it. It's the runes are just a preference. If you're good at using Hero Blade, use it. If you're good at Comet, use it. If you like to have a lethal tempo, use it. Doesn't really matter. Okay? Let's talk about Varus build. I think these threes are standard build for attack speed Varus. Uh, maybe you can go collector instead of rapid fire cannon. Some people are going in, but I am not really sure because I, I prefer rather have rapid fire cannon or Runasa Hurricane if you play against uh, melee champions, a lot of melee champions. And yeah, of course, if you are playing against a healer, you could go this item as well. Uh, as a third item, one, two, like except the shoes. As a third item, uh, against the tankers, Dominic, of course. Against the uh, squishies, Infinite Edge. You want more damage with the Infinity Edge plus Dominic, both of them. Or you want to have a QSS, like it's really up to you. I want to life to steal and shielding or magic resist, whatever, right? It's really up to you. That was the attack speed bit. And if you like to go 
Kraken because uh, I don't know. I like to have damage more than Kra uh, more than Gale Force repositioning or dodging the skills, or you wanna have being tanky item against the assassins. Shield bow is good too. It's really up to you. It's just situationally you can change the item. And let's talk about lethality photos. I think you start with the mana Mune, right? Uh, and also you go Draxar and cooldown boots. I think those three are uh, standard for lethality models. And there is a one thing, uh, I think Sherilda is good no matter what they're tanky or they're squishy because having Sherilda not only uh, armor pen, it also having skill slow. If you hit the skill, it has a slow. That's why I want to recommend the Sherilda on fourth item. Actually, third item, except the shoes. That would be a standard item for poke build, and the other item is just up to you. Maybe you can go Edge of Night or Yomu, just up to you, up to situation. Good luck with it. And I'm sorry about it, I have no idea about AP Faros build. <laughs> uh, just to try to find the other YouTube builder, pro item build YouTuber, probably. And thanks for watching. Bye bye, everyone.